They said it cure ninety nine uh, sickness. That's what they wow. said. Wow. Mommy, mommy. Dream day got me on. Bossy. Anyway, medically trained. This video was not intention was not meant to um, tell you to come and take these medicines to cure all of your diseases. All I'm simply doing is showing you my garden and what me and my friend have heard and know about some of these trees and what um, benefits they can have to your health. So, do not take this as a um, prescription, and by all means, do not go and just go grab some leaves off a tree to do this yourself and make things. That is not the advice I'm giving you. Hi everyone, Hi. welcome back. So today, Auntie Gifty is going to show me the different plants that are in our compound. And we've been talking before and you said that so many things here have health benefits. So our land is starting to be a bit fruitful. So I thought it would be a good time to ask her what each thing is called and what health benefits it has. Some of you may know this as well. So you can also add other health benefits if you know them in the comments below. So let's have a look. Which one shall we go first? The Christmas tree. The Christmas tree. Okay, let's and go. <laughs> okay. So. so the Christmas tree is good for malaria. Okay, so. And typhoid. So it's called Christmas they tree. They will use and uh, they cook it. We we'll put it in uh, the. We can put it in a stainless bowl yeah. or the. One we have the pot, clay the pot, clay pot, clay pot. That's what I mean. So you'd use this, you take it, wash it, and then put it in a put clay it pot. In, yeah. Is that when you, you grind? Can, no, you won't grind. You just cook it. Ah. Then you drink the water. Okay, so it's good for malaria, malaria, typhoid, and typhoid. Yes. Wow. But I don't know the rest. It okay, but a the lot. two. That's good. If you guys know any more that it can do as well, then yeah, add to the list. <laughs> so next we can look at what's that the one called moringa moringa yeah okay, okay so, so what's this called this is called this tree moringa moringa this. tree okay and the seed the seed is good for porch for what porch like porch. you want your stomach to be free ah you so just constipation use yes the okay seed. constipation or podge if you're in Ghana. <laughs> and the uh, leaves. They said it cure 99 uh, sickness. That's what they wow. said. Wow. Leaves. The leaves. Okay, so we've got two things here. So we've got the leaves, which the animals and have all eaten. Yes. They've eaten you them crab. You can make it to make stew. These leaves? Y yes. Okay. Like contumere stew, something like that. Ah, and you can use this? You can use it. And it's very healthy. The healthy. And how about the seed? Because you can see the I pods know here. The seed is for the stone, stomach running. The constipation. Yes. You open these up and it's got yeah, seeds the dry inside. one. So this one's not ready. You leave that one and we can pluck this one. Cool. Okay. Uh, that's the seed. That's the seed. Ah. But it's like granite. You remove it ah, inside. Okay, so it's. Okay, so a bit like um, like peanuts. Yes, you have to like that. break. Then you remove it inside the, out the you outer can. shell. And it comes like peanuts. And it the comes taste. out like peanut. But can I eat it or will it? No, you if have you to eat cook it, it. You st you have your stomach uh, what? Okay, so if I have so then if this goat, so if I have constipation, if you want, I can to have help it. make it run. Yeah. Then, then you use it. But otherwise, it'll make it run. Yeah. So let me let me not <laughs> eat it now. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. So how? Lo okay. So can I keep this in the house then, as as medicine? It, but don't you eat have it. a lot already here? Okay. Okay. Great. So the moringa. Ah, mm, look. Yes. It doesn't smell of anything. No, if you are chewing it, it's like peanuts. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay. The animals will be happy. The next one is the neem tree. The neem tree. So let's go. And this one outside. Which one? This one. The one hanging over our house. This one, yes. Ah, oh, that's Angry. something else. Yes. It's oh. called bitter leaf. Bitter leaf. Nigerians use it for soup. Okay. But we too, we match it like that and drink ah. the water. It cure uh, blood pressure. This wow. Pressure, then we need to talk about that one. Like that. That's Famous the name. Tree is very nice. Also for malaria and typhoid and a lot of it. And we are we are told that when neem tree is in your house like the way the tree is it draws a lot of sickness away from your side wow something like that, that you see kolebu teaching hospital yeah there are a lot of neem trees really at the hospital yes i don't know but that's what our people are saying i don't know whether that one is sure but someone but, must believe it to put yes, that many that trees in a hospital the, Nim tree is exact that, that kind of this nim tree mm. takes draw, it draw a lot of sickness out away. of yeah. Before I grow up, I saw my uncles, my aunties, they use it like they use it to brush, uh, their, brush teeth. their teeth. So how what would they use to brush teeth? Because that I, I, I like the sound of that. Yeah. Now that my braces are off. It's so what part would you use to... You use the mouth, the one that is not that big. Like this one, you go back and take this one. Ah, the branch? Yes. Don't worry, I will use this for medicine too. So, when you remove the body, you Show remove us. the body like this. Then you raise your hand. It's so you like see. you remove the body. Ah, like so the outer this. skin. Yeah, the inner I don't know one. if that's the official name. So you the have to inner use the one. inside. So now, this is the chewing stick. Can I chew that's, it? You can chew it and it's very healthy, but it's a le less bitter. bitter. It's oh, it's not bitter. It's, it's not too bitter. Yes. I feel like it's sweet on my tip of my tongue. Yes, it's very nice and very healthy. It tastes like tree. <laughs> it's tree. <laughs> it tastes like tree because it's tree. Well, I thought it would taste like sugar cane. No. <laughs> and okay. very healthy. They say it makes your teeth stronger. Mm, I need that. Hey, yeah, it's bitter. Very nice. Is that good? Yes. You see, when you, you want to have a good taste of food, when you use this one, it will give you, it will let your mouth make... It will cleanse your mouth. Yeah. I see. Okay, so before a meal, it can cleanse your mouth. Something like... And you can enjoy your food too. It's so bitter, <laughs> but it's very healthy. And I can clean my teeth. Like you chew it and you swallow the water, it like cure I can, I can malaria. It. You swallow, you, you <laughs> cure malaria. Okay. And it's very nice. Mm. And you can take some of the this one and add sugar cane, add uh, pineapple leaves. Then you cook them together. When the malaria is so serious, when you cook them, you just put it in the bowl. And when it's all, the fire will be on, something like that. Then you put a big cloth on you. Then the vapor will just remove everything wow. on you. Do wow, you understand? I understand. So yeah. you're saying we put like it over and then put, we steam pull over the and big then we one steam yeah. over, over the pot then you will be missing it the heat will be coming wow. out and, and that's for malaria uh -huh. like typhoid the things everything Africa. so that is it okay and when we were small you know we we don't go to hospital like that mm. so they can grind this one and put pepper and use it with the pump like for you to have a good stomach, stomach yeah. to clear your stomach. Yes. You're saying about using the leaves for cleansing your stomach. Your stomach. Okay. So explain that again, because that was interesting. <laughs> you grind it, yeah. then you filter it. You put pepper. Okay. Ginger. Yeah. Then you have the pump. 
I don't know. Is it like a syringe? No, it's like. Okay, then next time I will buy some, I will bring some for you to see. Okay, so then let's it's, call it a pump for now. Yes, that's how I just, okay. I can call it for now. Okay, so Then you happens? just put it in it, then draw the water into mm -hmm. it. Then you insert it. Insert it where? <laughs> hey! Uh-uh! <laughs> yes, and it's very nice when you, you have, you are not, your store. you see sometimes your stomach can be, you won't be comfortable. Yeah. So when you use it, you so let's finish the story. Everything we put the pump inside. Yes. You put the medicine you inside. Press it. You the press it. The medicine will enter. It'll into enter you. into the stomach. Yeah. Then you just and then you move and then you wait for it you to come back. Go exit. To the, yeah. Wow. Yes. And what and it'll cleanse your stomach. Yes. And you'll be fine. Okay. Then Is that what we call an enema? Is that I mean you guys tell me but I don't know. But it's interesting. Yeah. It's very nice. So we found this one as well. It's got like green pods and this grows as um, a weed here. So it was not planted. And when you poke the green pod, which is what the boy did, some like milk fluid came out of it. It was like white, thick white fluid came out. So have any of you heard of this? What's it called and what medicinal purpose says, if any, does this tree have? So thanks again, guys. Don't forget to comment below. Let's talk about them alternative medicines let's talk about um the amazing things that we can grow out of the ground here in ghana and on the continent as well and how fruitful and beautiful this land really is so look forward to seeing you in the next video don't forget to subscribe in three two one see you in the next one bye